Um, when you look at the artwork for the new album, I think it's not very comforting, you know, polluting industry, a soldier also is in there. And hungry hyenas, I think. <laughs> Was uh, that your I, idea? It, I think it's just a, a pack of wild dogs. All right. Yeah. But was that your idea? Um, <clears throat> I suggested some imagery, imagery, mm. and then the artist listened to the album a lot, like repeatedly, and just kind of like sketched out a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, I just encouraged him to keep going. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, is it odd to say when I listen to your lyrics? Um, um, I have the idea that you're trying to understand the world around you. Can you compare to that? Well, I, I mean, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not a child, mm -hmm. you know, trying to understand the world around me. But it is a mad world for anyone to try to make sense of, mm -hmm. you know, because there's so many things at play that that just don't make any friggin' sense to me, you know? It's, it's astonishing, you know? Like, I read all sorts of news. I read the colored news, and I tried to get, like, I try to get, like, what I think is, like, the real news, and, mm -hmm. and even then, you still can't get to the real news. You'll never really know what's happening. Because everything, you know, no one speaks the truth anymore. It's always filtered. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and politicians never speak the truth. I've never seen a pol. The only politician I've ever seen kind of like is when is when um, we had the you know Prime Minister uh, Krejci, mm -hmm. Jean Krejci, a while back. He was always like the kind of guy that would say something really off the cuff. He would and sometimes not speak like a politician. I think that's why he was so popular and was in power for so long because people kind of like knew he was a real guy mm -hmm. underneath it all. But a lot of politicians, they don't seem like real guys. They don't show that? No, they don't. And I think, I think it would be more comforting for people to see the real guy mm -hmm. and for them to be a real guy. You know what I mean? And a lot of the times when you're reading their quotes and what they say about this, that, and the other, it's, it's, it's just bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, first of all, none of it ever really makes any sense. It never says anything specific. So it's something really broad and ambiguous and like, you know, it doesn't make any sense, you know. <laughs> and then like, you know, I think like, I guess in, in the face of that, to come out with an album that's really just kind of just say what the fuck, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, and I even decided that when I was, if I was going to do interviews behind this, that I wasn't going to like filter myself too much and not, you know, I was going to choose, I, I, I plan to choose my words, but, but I don't plan to really hold back, you know. But do you think uh, that's not only a thing for politicians, not to say just the right thing? Oh, it's for everyone, yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, a lot of music now is very, um, it's not really saying anything, you mm -hmm. know, and <clears throat> and uh, so that you know, you know, uh, we get accused of being melo melodramatists a lot, and um, and that's annoying because you know, I mean, I don't think the truth is melodramatic; it's mm -hmm. just the truth, and I don't think we're, you know. There's a certain element of this record that's just, uh, that's not, I mean, there's, it's, it's somewhat, there's a bit of urgency in it, but not in a way where it's like, you know, we're crying in our beer, you know? There's definitely nobody crying in their beer on this album at all, you know? Yeah. 